This is the vegan anarchist. And in this video, I'm gonna do a, the gender tag. So, what the gender tag is, is by, is basically started, I can't remember who the person's name, Ashley Wilde or something like that. Anyways, it was a series of like 10 questions that that people answer so we can like understand each other's gender and stuff like that and because well I'm non-binary I'm gonna answer my question so my first question is what's my gender identity and what does it mean for me well, it, well my gender identity is non-binary trans femme or trans non-binary femme I'm trans and I don't identify with the Sorry, sorry. I don't identify with the gender I was assigned at birth. That's trans. Non-binary means I'm not in the gender binary boy or girl. And femme is just any feminine gender alignment. Well, not any, but like it's a gender alignment slash presentation. My preferred pronouns are just pronouns. Are they? And I, but I'd rather have someone use she, but they is okay. They, she, or fey. Sorry, some one of, my, one of my dad's dogs is here. Wally, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. He's a little dirty, so. Anyways, Wally. I guess Wally stole the show. <laughs> they, they, she, or fey. Sour clothes. Whoa. Unfortunately, there's a difference in what I want to wear and why I wear now. Because if you look at me right now, it's kind of more or less typical. Shorts, uh, the flannel. But I kind of want to dress more girly, but or femish. But you know, I don't have my money's tight, and I also have an issue with my pa parents. My parents are divorced. So oh yeah, Alini. Anyways, here's my other cat, Arlene. Okay, Arlene. And for my, well, my preferred style will basically be, basically like either punk rock, but like femme punk, which is like punk, but you know, full of femme colors and femme dub, because apparently, According to those internet quizzes, you can't be both punk and femme. I fucking love punk as hell. Punk rock is awesome. Or I would, I would probably go like Sweet Lolita with a little Punk Lolita mix in there, or something like that. Like alternative fashion too, as well as femme. So somewhere along the femme diagram. Body hair. Well, I don't shave here. But unfortunately, that leads me to be misgendered all the time. But I, but I do shave below my neck. <sighs> unfortunately, and I do try to shave often, but... <sighs> well, I've got some, like, cuts and stuff like that. I'm, like, a, not a very good shaver and stuff like that. But I do shave below, so I do have, like, really hair with smooth skin, and it's really awesome. It, 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 but, it's, but I want basically shave everything. I shave everything below my neck, but there are spots I miss and we need help with. I don't want to get more into this detail. Okay. Cosmetics. Uh, to be honest, I don't wear cosmetics, but I want to wear cosmetics. But again, I have a my dad has an issue with it and money issue, of course. Because I want to wear lipstick, makeup, like foundations and blush and stuff like that. And I also want some body modifications and stuff like that as well. It's HRT and that, but that, it's just cosmetics. And like dye, I want to dye my hair like pink or purple or something. This is a long list, but unfortunately, because my, I'm broke as fuck and have a very limited, like, money I get from my parents is like very little I can't do it so I wish I can so so many better so, suggest me some vegan brands that are pretty cheap because I 
Also, there's also the fact that I'm autistic, and I don't know how to put them on. And I've looked on it in YouTube because everybody tells me to. Except I don't get those. Except those videos aren't. I don't know about those videos. It, it just I to, it's just it just overwhelms me just looking through all of this. But I really do. How often do I get misgendered? All the fucking time. Especially considering I look like a dude, but I am not. Like, I get misgendered by my dad, I get misgendered by my college. Every time I sign a form, I have to misgender myself. Strangers call me sir, it, my dad calls me sir, my mom tries to be even she accidentally misgenders me. Like, I get misgendered all the time and it fucking pisses me off. And then they tell, and then they fucking, I fucking hate this shit. But, ugh. So I fucking hate this. Is it dysphoria? Well, yes, I have dysphoria. And I had to, part of the reason why I went to the mental hospitals because it was part, it was making my depression. And I was also having suicidal thoughts and it was contributing a lot. And I still feel it. I just, Every time, I just can't win with people like my dad, so... And also, I get misgender all the time I go to my Abuela's church, because well, Abuela makes me so often wants me to go there. And they call me Samuel, though that's not my name, but it's my dad name, but it's so bad. But yes, I have gender dysphoria, and then I also having a lot of trouble transitioning like both physically as well as like looks wise because both my financial situation as well as my family relate my family one of my family members number eight is I is about kids and I don't want kids so I want to get sterilized number nine is it is it important? Is it more important that my significant others make more or less than me? Or it's basically talking about finances. So, as if I don't really care about my significant other, but if they or she or whatever gender they are does, awesome for me! Because that means I get to be spoiled. So, I mean, if I have to choose, brother, <laughs> have earn more of me but I don't really care otherwise so <laughs> no dates um honestly like I'd rather have my day paid for everything I know it's selfish but I want to get spoiled as fuck okay that's my case so shut up and number 10 other experiences and things you share uh, yeah, I've known uh, since uh, about being trans since I was a senior in high school, but I hid it so many years because of my dad. But it's been, it has lots of ups and downs. It's not easy, but if it can feel fucking awesome. And though I feel this for you, I also feel really intense euphoria, so which is awesome. And also, by the way, check out my plans to, to take that. See my strawberry. Oh, that's my cat. That's my cat here. Strawberry. My other plans, broccoli. Broccoli. Put pe pepper. Some herbs. Stevia. <laughs> some cilantro. It's super cool, man. I also have two terrariums, which I'm donating to my local UU church. But anyways. I mean, I love being trans, though, despite all the things that comes with it. Being trans is, being, is cool, you know, and I'm proud to be queer as fuck. So, I mean, there are many people in my audience who are queer and non-binary or trans. So uh, I'll tag all of y'all to cut, make your own tag video, and I'll leave the link to the gender tag video, the gender tag uh, idea, so you could 
of course, get the questions yourself there. And in the meantime, no meat, no milk, no masters. It is worth it to be yourself. Fuck the normies, be who you are. Remember, remember, you embrace your uniqueness and stop being a normie. See ya, fuck normacy.